Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about probability. So now I want to show you how to answer. A particle operation has six components. Each component has a failure probability Q independent of any other component. The operation is successful if both components 1, 2, and 3 all work or component 4 works. Either component number 5 and component number 6 works. Now we need to draw the block diagram and we need to find the probability that the operation is successful. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing, we need to draw components 1, 2, 3 in the same light. So they should be like this. On the question, components 1, 2, and 3 all work, or component number 4 works, that means they are in the parallel in here. So on the next one, component number 5 or component number 6 works. That means if this one fails, this one can work. Or if this one fails, this one can work. And that means everything will be successful. So they should be in parallel in here. Now I will put one, two, number six. So they want to find probability that the operation is successful. So in this situation, if this one to be successful, one, this one will be successful. This one can be fail or. If this one successful, this one should be about fail. So we need to find about probability that this one successful, 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 and successful in here. So this we know that Q that's a, about the failure in here. So successful of one, two, and three that should be about one minus Q. So I will, we put this one in here. So we have 1 minus Q, 1 minus Q, and 1 minus Q. So for this one, we have 1 minus Q. So for this one and this one, we know that one, if this one can be successful, this one may be failure. Or uh, this one failure, this one can be successful and vice versa. Or uh, both of them can be successful. That means for this one, I will put about B56. So for this one, we need to know that 1 minus 4 of 5, 6, that means both of them they are failure. So that's about 1 minus Q square. So why this one Q square in here? Because B5, 6 fail. That means Q multiplied by Q because both of them they are fail. That's why we have Q square in here. 
Now, the next one, this one we multiply and that is about 1 minus q to the power of 3. So now, I will put this one is about b, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, because 1 out of 2, which one can be successful or both of them, they can be successful. So in this situation, we have 1 minus b, 1, 2, 3, 4. That means two of them in here, they are failure. 2b become the failure in here. That means we have number 1 minus 1 minus q to the power of 3. That means this one become the failure for the big component b1, 2, 3 in here. Multiply by q. That is about the failure of component number 4. So that means we can find 1 minus all of them failure. And now, if this one to be successful, so we need to multiply by b1, 2, 3, 4 with b5, 6. So this one and this one, they combine together. And this is the final answer we need to write in here. Here is about the full answer of the question.